Hey man, you know who it is, man. I'll be right there, man. Look, man, for me, we back at the game. Now, video for me, your new scrap. I'll focus you, your scrap. I'll focus you for me, like the video for me, watch it all the way through. You go and learn something for me. That's a fact. Fuck is you talking about, fam? But look, today we're going to talk about why women are so difficult, my nigga. Bruh, the reason women are so difficult, my nigga, is because, my nigga, you got to understand, bro. They grow up thinking of, like, you know what I'm saying, a Cinderella, you feel me, like, Beauty and the Beast, you know what I'm saying, like, Romeo and Juliet, you know what I'm saying, this is what they want for their life, my nigga, understand this shit, so, mind you, nigga, this is fairy tales, imaginary, written up stories in Roman cathedral, nigga, this is all that other bullshit, my nigga, whole time, so understand this shit, so, my nigga, we living in 2021. That shit been dead, shiverly, shiverly, whatever the word they want to consider, like, being, like, gentlemen and, nigga, that shit been dead, boy. Motherfucker don't even open up doors for motherfucker no more, boy. You open up a door for somebody, they look at your ass like, nigga, I got the door in my damn self, you feel me? So understand this shit. But my nigga, you gotta understand, this is her life goal. She want to get, you know what I'm saying, get the glass slipper, put on her little shit, on some Cinderella type shit, feel me? On some Beauty and the Beast type shit, feel me? So understand this. So my nigga, but, like I said, we're in 2021. That shit is not happening, bro. So understand, bro. The reason they're difficult is because my nigga, you gotta understand. They tell you what they want, but in the reverse way. Nigga, you know how in Uno to get a reverse card? Nigga, whatever a girl tells you, bro, they want the exact opposite. So understand this shit. That shit sounds crazy, right? How the fuck do they want to? The... Right, for example, right? A girl could be like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like for example, right? A girl, I was talking to a girl and shit, right? Boom. She was like, she's like, oh, what time you normally go to sleep? And I was like, shit. Around like, I mean, no, she was like, what time you normally wake up? I'm like, shit, around like 9, 9.45, probably 10, the latest, da-da-da. And she was like, oh, for real? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I was like, da-da-da, you feel me? And then she was like, she was like, oh, because it was like nighttime and shit, probably like two, oh, 1 in the morning and shit. So she was like, oh, um, saying, she was like, oh, um, texting when you wake up if you want to, the type shit. And I'm like, what? Like, what you mean? Like, if I want to, she's like, nah, just if you want to. Like, I'm not forcing you to do anything, da-da-da. I'm like, okay, okay. I see what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? I see what she's trying to do. Okay. I'm not no dumbass nigga. But I kind of fucked up, you feel me? In this situation, because I was like, I gave her reassurance, man. For with girls, my nigga, you're not supposed to get them assurance, bro. Don't tell a girl that you're going to do some shit as in, like, you know what I mean? Like, doing shit. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like, she was looking for, I mean, like, she's seen that if I was going to give her reassurance, I was going to text her. And my stupid ass, I was like, I said, man, you know I'm going to text your ass. Why you playing like that? Da, da, da. But what I should have said, my nigga, was, shit, I don't know. We're going to have to find out and see. You feel me? Da, da, da. You feel me? Because now you're giving her not assurance. It's just like a mystery type shit because girls love a mystery, bro. They don't like no simple ass motherfucking lumberjack head ass nigga. He just chop wood all day on some motherfucking Paul Bunyan type shit. And you just end this bitch, that's it. No, bro, this is why girls go for the young boy type nigga. This is why girls go for the motherfucking, you feel me? Like the niggas who just be doing too much. Because my nigga hold motherfucking time, you got to understand, they like a mystery. They like excitement. They don't like no, you know what I'm saying? No nigga who just waiting on them hand and foot. Oh, baby, I love you. I want to do everything, bro. They don't give a fuck, nigga. You know how many niggas going to say that to them, bro? They want the nigga, bro, like I always tell you, that they can't have. The nigga who's playing games with them because it's fucking with their mind. And girls love a game, bro. That's to understand that shit. Girls love the game, bro. For understand that shit. So, I mean, I'm also talking to the girl and shit like that, da da da. But in the situation, I gave her reinsurance, my nigga, because she was looking for insurance. You see what I'm saying? She was looking for it, bro. She wanted to see if I was gonna say, you know what I'm saying, play the role, play like, oh nah, I'm not gonna buy text you, or I was gonna give her insurance, which my dumb ass did was give her insurance. But I mean. I fucked up in the instance. Because understand this, nigga. You, you talking to girls, you're going to fuck up. Understand that shit. Because <laughs> I thought about it. Thinking back, I'm like, nah, she went the opposite. You feel me? This is what I'm saying, bro. You got to understand. Girls, they don't like assurance, my nigga. So you got to be a mystery, bro. Because I'm telling you, whatever they say, they want the opposite. If they telling you, oh, I want this and that, 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 Nigga, they don't want all that goofy ass shit. They want you to do the exact opposite. Fuck is you talking about, my nigga, whole time. And girls, nigga, they say things, you know what I'm saying? In a reverse manner, bro. A like, real shit, they say in a reverse manner. So, like, you know what I'm saying? For example, boom. Right? A girl is saying, oh, to one of my, uh, I'm going to just hit somebody I know and shit. A girl is like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You going to miss me. I know you miss me. We ain't talking mad long. You know, your ass miss me. Da-da-da. For me, if I text you, da-da-da. Um, 
or I call you whatever, da da da. Your ass gonna pick up. You could be married and have kids and all type of shit. You could have my wife and kids and shit. Whole motherfucking time, and your ass still gonna pick up, da da da. And my man's just like, oh, I'm I'm listening to this shit. I'm just like, yo, she's wild right now, gangster, bro. But whole time, what she's really saying, bro. She, with girls, you gotta read between the lines. Not in school to teach you, like, oh, you gotta read between the lines and like you understand shit, not but it's like not blatantly put out. My nigga, she's basically saying she's talking about she's gonna miss him. Cause my nigga, you gotta understand this shit. My niggas wasn't worried, you feel me? Cause she's worried. Girls don't like to give out the 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 you know what I'm saying, the the what's the word, the image or whatever that they're the one that misses you or they're the one that you know what I'm saying is lesser, bro. This is why girls always play hardball. Cause nigga, they pride is crazy. <laughs> nigga, they got pride, nigga. You talking about <laughs> nigga pride? Nigga, girl's pride is strong. Nigga, I have never seen as much pride as in a female, bro. My nigga, a girl could cheat on you. And then get upset with you if you move on. How that, like, bro, how you cheat on me and you get upset with me if you move, if I move on? What the hell? You feel me? It's because, nigga, girl's pride is out the roof. Nigga, you can't even. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Nigga, they shit is on fire. Fuck it, nigga, they shit is on fuego. Fuck it, you talking about. Nigga, they shit is literally burning the fuck down, boy. Because whole time, my nigga, they pride is crazy, bro. These niggas is prideful as fuck, bro. So I understand this shit. So you think you just laughing, joking, it's all fun and games, it's all love and shit, it's all a sanction. No, boy, they not playing with your dumb ass, boy. You fuck up one time, nigga. Girl would take this shit to heart, bro. Nigga, stop texting your ass, stop doing everything. No, why? Because niggas hurt their heart, bro. They little itty bitty heart. They hurt their little itty bitty heart. You know how that nigga, uh, Mr. Kraft had the little baby violin, he was playing the little strings. Like that. <laughs> nigga, that's their heart, bro. No, oh, God. Understand this shit. So my nigga, you can't treat a female the same way you treat a guy. You can't. There's no way, bro. You can, you know what I mean, in a sense, but you really can't. Cause my nigga, they're like they say they're fragile beings. Nigga, they're really fra nigga. Girls are more fragile and give but they're <laughs> look, I <laughs> gotta be stuttering. Girls are more fragile, but they're less caring, bro. They don't give a fuck. They don't care, bro. They don't nigga, I'm telling you, bro, they'll take this shit to the grave and back, bro. My fucker do not care, but they pride is so fucking high. I don't understand it. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I try to understand it. I still can't to this day, nigga. I'm telling you, but nigga, I can admit when I was wrong. Apologize and get the fuck over it. It's because, nigga, a lot of girls you deal with nowadays, my nigga, their maturity maturity level is low as hell. Nigga, I'm talking about, bro, this shit is like empty as fuck. They ain't got no maturity, my nigga. They take everything, bro, like you trying to be in competition with them. Like you trying to tell them they doing something wrong with their life or this, that, and third and goof, da, da. I'm like, nigga, what? Nigga, get rid of your pride, bitch. <laughs> like, I had to say the bitch word, nigga. Get rid of your pride, nigga. Nigga, now they say pride is the biggest sin. Nigga, that is the biggest sin, boy. You got to be able to admit when you was wrong about some shit. Girls, nigga, never want to admit when they wrong about some shit. Oh, God, nigga. They'll, nigga I'm telling you, bro. Nigga, it could be in their face. Lindsay, you're wrong. She's saying I'm not wrong. I know she don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Fuck this thing. Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, girls don't be caring, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. This is why they difficult, my nigga, because, bro, they're like, how they say they're creatures you can't understand. Nigga, you're not going to understand it, bro. No matter as much dating coaches, no matter as much girls you be around, my nigga, at the end of the day, you still a nigga. So you're not going to fully understand the female mind, bro. None of these niggas do, bro. None of the dating coaches you listen to, none of these niggas, bro, they do not understand the female mind. You know why? Because, my nigga, every girl is the same, but they're different. So obviously, bro. The nigga might have a girl right now, but my nigga, she's one type of girl. He's he only talking about one type of girl. My nigga, there's so many different girls out here, my nigga. You feel me? Just understand this shit, bro. Nobody gonna understand this shit, bro. Nobody. It's only people that can understand a female is a female, my nigga. So understand this shit. So as much as you try to understand them, bro, you can't understand them. So I'm gonna tell y'all niggas, which my niggas LBR gang, my nigga, stop trying to understand them. Cause why? You can't understand them, bro. It's like trying to read fucking African uh, fucking hieroglyphics or some shit, and your ass only know English. They nigga, you can't read it, bitch. You don't understand it, my nigga. Obviously, so stop trying to. Like, what the fuck? It's not meant for you. Like, <laughs> you understand that shit, gangster. So y'all niggas in here trying to, oh, man, I'm trying to figure out why she didn't text me back. I'm trying to figure out why she didn't do this. I'm trying to figure out why she's still mad about this. I'm trying to, nigga, it's female nature, bro. Girls are going to do what they're going to do. Mind you, bro, they got periods, all type of crazy shit they got to go through. They got to go through knowing, okay, because think about it, think about it, nigga, right? You a nigga, so you, nigga, your main goal is to get as many niggas, I mean, <laughs> pause, fuck you talking about. Your goal is to get as many girls as you can, right? It's damn near like motherfucking, 
what's that game? Like the Hungry Hungry Hippo game. You trying to get all the, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get everything. You trying to get all your baskets and shit. Like Easter eggs and shit. You trying to grab up all the eggs, right? But girls' goal, my nigga, is to find one dude. That's crazy, right? Our goal is to get so many girls, and their goal is to get one nigga. And you think we the exact same. Fuck no, nigga. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's why they be so picky, boy. That's why they'll text your ass today and won't text you back tomorrow. Fuck is you talking about no why? Because they whole goal is to find that one nigga, that Prince Charming, that glass slipper Cinderella type nigga, fam. Our goal is to get all the hoes. When we go to the party, fuck all the hoes, go beat her back up, blur her checks out. So, my nigga, we cannot be the same. We're not the exact same. We're, nigga, we're totally different. You feel me? So, understand this shit. So, this is why, my nigga, when you do certain things, girls do what they do. That's why they have pride. That's why, you know what I'm saying, they're emotional as fuck. You know what I mean? Because us as niggas, we try to be like, oh, we not emotional and shit. Yeah, we're just motherfucking barbarian-ass, Viking-ass niggas and shit. We just eat mutton and big-ass. Nigga, get the fuck out of here and lamb chops and shit. Nigga, whole time, every nigga is emotional as a bitch, nigga. Y'all niggas be crying. Y'all niggas be getting sad. Y'all niggas be doing all type of shit just like a female. But girls know this shit. And they play on that shit. That's why a girl can hurt your feelings more than a nigga ever can. Nigga, a girl could literally hurt your feelings more than a nigga ever can. Know how? This could be your girlfriend or some shit. You blowing her back up, be the tracks out, and she go fuck another nigga. That is the worst feeling on life, boy. I'm glad I never experienced that shit. But my nigga, if your girl go have sex with another nigga, boy, your ass is hurt, boy. Your ass in there crying and all type of goofy ass shit. Or if your girl break up with you, you in there crying all type of goofy ass shit. More than a nigga could be like, oh, you a bitch, nigga. You ain't worried about that shit. But a girl, nigga, she could break your heart in half, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Spit your shit like a fraction. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Understand this shit. So they use that to their advantage, bro. Because they know y'all niggas got soft spots in y'all body, bro. A lot of every, every nigga got a soft spot. Fuck you talking about. Nobody just rock hard motherfucking 21 Savage all day. Boy, your ass is going to be goofy sometimes. So understand this shit. So they going to use that to their advantage. Know why? Because we use the shit to our advantage. My nigga, understand this shit. So understand, bro. Women are difficult. You're not supposed to understand them. Stop trying to. Get on your grind. That's it. <laughs> Gangsta, but look, man, so I gotta say for the video for me, it's a fact. Before you talking about for me, like the video for me, like the video for me, it's a fact. Subscribe right now if you ain't subscribed yet for me, it's a fact. Hit the notification button to get updated or upload a new video, it's a fact. Before you talking about for me, follow me on Instagram at LBRDES, LBRDES, it's a fact. Before you talking about for me, hit me up on there if you need advice, leave me video ideas on my DM in the comment section below. Need this video for me, it's a fact. Before you talking about for me, you watch the video all the way through, I fucked you, my nigga, it's a fact. Join the LBR gang, you know why? Because it's the gang way. Fuck is you talking about for me, it's a fact. But look, man, I'm making that video, I can run doing that shit. But until then, my nigga, you already know what I'm about to say, right? I'm out this bitch. Um, <laughs> bro.